Amen. Come on, y'all stand right here. God, you the biggest one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're all together. You know, don't be shy. They're all together. Look, the truck out there. Come on, man. <laughs> they're all together. Everybody's alike. Amen. Now, this is Mother Stone. I need you to get the verse for me. Get the verse that says the uh, the bride and the spirit says, "Come, that's a revelation." I want to show you the difference between two two people. We got one, two, three, four people. I'm, I want to show you the difference of where you should be and where some of you are right now. Come on, get that for me. Or oh, somebody get it for me. Come on, I need you to move fast for me now. I know some revelations. My son's so handsome, ain't he? Look just like me. You got it? Come on, get it for me. What is it? Revelation 22 17. Read what he said. The spirit and the bride. Who is the bride? The church. The church. What is the spirit? His word. Amen. Hello. It says the spirit, which is the word, and the brides. Uh huh. Free. Say what? Now, you got a group of people. The spirit, which is the word, and the bride, which is the church, says, come. So now, you got all of these people right here. Abigail, come. Now, how many people you got over there? Three. Three. Abigail heard her name. And so what happened? She was called out. Amen. I'm going to adopt you. You come on in the church. Now, here she go. She believed the word. She started taking on the word, putting on the word. Good God Almighty, hallelujah. But now, watch this, Sister Mona. All of them, they're still here. But why is it they ain't been called out? Ooh. That's why the Bible says he that have a ear. So it's evident they're hearing the same word, but only one was called out. So even though they're here, it's just like they're not. Because you know why they're not in the fold? Amen, amen. What good is it to hear the word over and over and over and over and over? Year in, year out, day in, day out. I'm sweating, losing my voice. And then to just leave right out. And don't even take heed to what, what's being said. Why come in the building, hear the word, which is supposed to make us better, and then yet we still don't get better? We go out and still do the same old things. We gotta ask ourselves, there has to be something wrong. There's really something wrong. That God can be calling you, and yet you still choose to ignore his voice. Then you have to ask yourself, are you really his sheep? He say, my sheep, they're gonna hear my voice. And a stranger, they will not follow. So if you are his sheep, why is it that you don't want to hear his voice? What do you mean hear his voice? I hear Jesus. No, you don't. Not if you don't do what he say. Amen. He said the things we should do, we don't want to do that. The, the, the way we should walk, we don't want to walk that way. Tell you how you ought to be, we don't want to be that way. And then we constantly talk about the old church. Forget old, the older church. What are you doing right now? Amen. What are you doing right now? There should be no reason why we're still struggling to obey God's commandments. Amen. Should be no reason. Why. We talk. How can we even utter about oh those apostles and those disciples? Listen, one. His family member died. He said, listen, Jesus, I'm going to follow you, but let me go and bury my family. He said, listen, you ain't got time for that. 
He said, let the dead bury the dead. Follow me. Yes. What did he have to do? Leave everything. He had to leave everything. Us, we said, well, yeah, yeah it's okay. Go ahead and, and go bury your family, then come. Get your affairs in order. Jesus didn't even want to hear that. He said, oh, oh yeah, yeah, let the dead bury the dead. They did. Ain't nothing you can do. Come follow me. And guess what? They did it. Jesus walking by the seashore saw the disciples in the boat fishing with their father in the family business fishing. Jesus said, listen, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. The Bible didn't say that they took time to think. You know what I really probably don't need to make up my mind if I want to follow the Lord. The Bible says straight away they dropped their nets and they left the father right in the boat. So if they were willing to follow him, why is it taking us so long? What's taking us so long? That we can't do what we're supposed to do. What's taking us so long? We ain't willing. We're not willing. And it comes down to the point where, listen, you need to make a, a real decision. We make decisions with everything. But what's most important, you need to make a real decision if you're going to follow God. And if you're going to follow him, follow him. If you're not, you might as well just leave it alone. Because listen, I'm being honest. You're wasting time. That's right. You're wasting time. I'm looking at all the ones that, that, especially those that I done grew up with. Some of them now I see, they about to get on the radio talk. Listen, you, they wasting time. All that stuff don't mean nothing. Having all these conferences and all this other stuff, that stuff not going to mean nothing if you don't believe him according to the Bible. We got to believe God according to his Bible. Amen. Everything else, listen, don't mean anything. Some, oh God, no, you, you judge too much. And, you know, you, you just, just yes, that's, I, I have to judge. Just say, if you don't get judged, now you're going to be judged later. Amen, right. amen. Rather be in that. What's the problem? Why is it that it's so hard just to do right? Come on, Irene. I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. We early in it. That, that, that's right? No. What time is it? Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Well, I got about thirty-five minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Come on, Irene. Jeremiah six and eleven. Uh huh. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. Yes. I am weary with holding in. I will pour it out upon the children abroad mm -hmm. and upon the assembly of young men together. Mm -hmm. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken. Yes. The age with him that is full of days. And their houses shall be turned unto others with their fields and wives together. And we wonder why all kind of things be going wrong with us. Yeah, come on read. Come on read. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetous. And from the prophet, even unto the priest, everyone dealeth falsely. Mm. Come on, Rick. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. Mm -hmm. Come on. Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore they shall fall among them that fall. Folks not ashamed no more. Come on, Rick. Come on. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways. But look what the Lord is telling us to do. Thus saith the Lord. He says, stand ye in the ways. And see and ask. And ask. For the old path. For the, that's what we preach again. Amen. For oh, all that old stuff. Yes, ain't no other way. God is old. <laughs> yeah, he is. Someone said to me, 
Yeah, see y'all with these holy stuff. Y'all like people got to dress all old and stuff. I said, nobody said you got to dress old. The Bible say modest. Amen. And I said, now let me explain what modesty is. You see those old people? You're supposed to be dressing like them. Watch this now. Your style may differ, Amen. but it still should be the same style. Amen. 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 Did you hear what I'm saying? Amen. If old folks know how to cover their behind, <laughs> and you say you holy, don't say you got to go get you a man some old hand down pole, but you should know how to cover yourself. That's right. Amen. Amen. You understand? Amen. The rule of the church is still the same. And it don't matter how the world turns. That's right. This is not a soap opera. Amen. Don't care how the world turns, God's word is going to still remain the same. Amen. Whether one do it or nobody do it. And see, this is what we don't understand. We think because it seems as though things are changing, that guess what? Well, you see everybody's doing something different and God is doing a new thing. You know, you say he is. But while you say God is doing a new thing, I'm still reading the old thing. Amen. Ain't no new book drop out to heaven and say, listen, I changed my mind. Amen. You understand? Amen. The rule to God's house, or when I say his house, his people, is still the same no matter who wants to do it. Right now, if I was to come to y'all Sunday and say, you know what, y'all? Forget all that stuff that I was preaching. Guess what? I got news for you. Those words are going to still be there. Amen. You, you understand? Amen. The word don't never change. It's still there. You can take it. You can crumble it up. You can tear up the pages. Guess what? When you tear that page up, there's still another page somewhere else saying the same thing. What you going to do with it? You can take all the pages. Tear all the pages up. And say, you know what? I don't want to hear nothing about no more Bible. Now we ain't got to do it. Guess what? God will have the verse in somebody's head. That's right. Have it in somebody's spirit that they're able to quote it verbatim. What you going to do with it? Uh, you know, God said, I'll never leave myself without a witness. Amen. That God will always have somebody teaching and believing this. No matter who don't choose to do it. Guess what? He said, I'll have a rock. Yeah, cry out. Everybody in the world choose to close their mouth. Listen, we're going to make a pact. Nobody speak about God. We're going to forget about religion. And we're going to get, yeah. And you're going to find yourself walking down the street. Amen. And you're going to hear some noise saying Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Everybody hear something saying holy, holy, holy. Amen. Holiness is right. Yes, sir. Burn right through the air. Holiness. Yes, sir. Because he said, I will never leave myself without a witness. So if he said that, what you gonna do about that? You can't do nothing but submit. Right. Either submit or reject. Amen. Amen. Read that what he say now. Read that what he say. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the way. Stand ye in the way. And see. And see. And ask. He say, ask for it because he's showing you it ain't gonna be here too long. Wow. Folks done got to the point where folks feel like, well, you know, well. I enjoyed the message. Okay, who you do? What you gonna do about it? Uh -huh. Or, oh, Pastor Show preach. Who you do? What you gonna do about it? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I went too much feeling that today. <laughs> who you do? Do y'all get what I'm saying? What you gonna do about it? It's still his word. Whether I the day that I like it and the day that I don't, who he do? Amen. It don't change. Right. It's still the same. Amen. And the devil have gotten his people, God's people, to start compromising with people. Well, you know, you can't win people like that. And you can't now my question is this. For folks who say all that old fashioned stuff, I gotta hear all that, 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 that. Well, why aren't they still not saved even though they ain't listening to it? If they was to come here and say, you know what, man, that, junk, that stuff is too strict. But wait a minute now. So I couldn't win you, right? It was too strict for you. You didn't want to hear it. You should have went somewhere else and got saved. Amen. Why are you still doing the same old things? Amen. This is too strict. 
You go to the new church. You should go to the new church and live host. Because the word don't change. Amen. Why is it that you still doing what you've been doing? When you came in here, you said, oh God, that word is just too tough and too hard. I can't lose Jesus. I don't, I don't think it's all of that. I'm going to go somewhere, you know, because I don't believe all of that. And then you go somewhere else, why are you still doing the same old things? Amen. Nothing still changed. You're still lying. You're still cheating. You're still backbiting. You're still fornicating. You're still committing adultery. Only thing is, nobody is bold enough to tell you, but you're still doing it. Amen. Don't you think if you were seeking out the God so much that if you didn't want to hear it here and you go somewhere else, the, the point is you still should want to stop. So now, why would I hold my tongue when you need to hear? <laughs> well, you know, I don't, you know, everybody, we, we just, it's not that serious. And then that hell is serious. <laughs> yes, it is. Hell is serious. Amen. We read all here when they talk about hell. And listen, I'm in them flames burning and you could have told me something to save me. When I'm there, it's too late. That's right. <laughs> it's too late. What is the gospel? Repent of your sins. Repent and turn from the things that you've been doing. And a lot of us right now, listen, I know some of us, we say we're saved, but we need to do some repenting because we don't went back. And not only have we went back, but we're comfortable in what we're doing. I told my wife today, I said, man, I used to have a lot of little followers on Facebook. Them folks don't follow me no more. Every day my friends just get smaller and smaller. Guess what? God's word don't change. Amen. You see, people taking this thing for a joke. Now, with a bunch of young preachers, they play, play off. Said, listen, man, I say, listen, I live this. See, y'all do this stuff for play and to have fun and to be fighting with people. I, I'm living this every day. This is not a game to me. This is not a game. I mean this. And we're taking this life too lightly. We're playing with this stuff, man. You think the suffering that I'm doing right now, and everybody knows my business here, you think I'm just doing it just to be doing it because of what do. I don't want a life. I'm living this for a reason. Because I want to see somebody saved. Amen. And so little by little, my little friends, this is getting smaller and smaller. You know why? Because they know not to play with me. They don't have to play with me because the moment you get out of line, I'm going to straighten you with this because I don't play when it comes. Anything else, I joke, I laugh, I cookie poo hoo. But when it comes to this, I don't take no prisoners. Guess what, brother? They didn't play with me. I played out in the world too long. You think I'm going to come on God's side and play too? And some of us, can I be honest? Amen. We play in church. We have our hands. God will say, lift holy hands, look at it. Lift holy hands. <laughs> Actually, said, it's your hands holy. Are they clean? Are they righteous? Oh, can you really say that, bro? No. Read what he said, God. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Stand ye in the way. Stand ye in the way. And see. And see. And act. And act for the old for path. For the old path. Where is the good Where way? Where in is what? The good way. This is the good way. This is the good way. The old way. This is the moment. This is the good way. Right. I don't care who gonna do it. This is the good way. The old way. The way it's supposed to be. The way God intended it for it to be. How he expect his men to walk. How he expect his women to walk. This is the good way. Amen. But the father him, you got to hate everything else. Amen. Everything else. Everything. You got to even hate yourself. Because yourself will be your biggest hindrance if you're not careful. Because only thing will come out of your mouth. What I want to do. I want what? Forget what I want to do. What does God require of me? What does God require of me? I've been living for myself all my life and still not happy. That's right. Looking for things to satisfy me all my life, still not happy. When are we going to learn that you yourself can't make yourself happy? That's 
That's why I hear it all the time. Oh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm just worried about me. It's about me. It's my time. And I'm going to make myself. You ain't going to never be happy. That's right. Amen. Amen. And we be wasting, just wasting time. Wasting. Time is just wasting. All because we won't submit to what God said because we love ourselves too much. I'm almost finished. Come on, read my brother. I'm, I'm almost finished. I'm almost finished. What verse is that? 16 or something? 16, yeah. Yeah. Where is the good way? Wherein is the good way? Watch this now. And walk therein. Not only ask for it. I hear people all the time. Oh, where's the old way? I'm looking for the old way. Oh, how did he used to do? Oh, they don't pray like they used to pray. And they don't fast like they used to fast. And then, no, you're talking about you. <laughs> Yeah, people all the time, oh, there's an old way. The way it used to be. You say you're in the church, right? Amen. Okay, that's you. You talking about old way and all everything you do is just modernize. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ye shall find rest. Wait a minute! What did he say you're gonna do when you find the old way? And you shall find rest. He said you're gonna find See, if you want some rest, there it is. Yes, I'm so tired. <laughs> How can you be tired and don't come to the one who's saying, listen, I'll give you rest? Follow me, I'll give you rest. Yeah, but Jesus, I'm so tired. I'll give you rest, but I'm just so sick and tired. I'm just so, I'll give you rest. You know what that show? We ain't really tired. What it is, we want God to move all our burdens without the sacrifice of serving him. Oh yeah. yeah I want you to make it better for me, Jesus, but don't require me to do nothing. I want your blessings. I want you to look on me. I want you to protect me. I want you to keep me. Keep me in help. Oh my God. But now, out of all of that, now wait. But I don't want to serve you. I would never say that. You, we say it in our actions. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I, I want all that, Jesus. I want you to bless me with money. I want you to bless me with everything. And sometimes I even pray to you. But now, wait now. I don't want to serve you now. But now, if you could just give me that, we do. Yeah. Come on, read. Come on, read. Come on, read. People looking at me crazy. Come on, read. And walk therein. Walk therein. And ye shall find rest. And ye shall find rest. For your soul. For your soul. That's what he want to give rest. No, see, in this flesh, we just want some breaks. We want breaks. We're looking for big breaks. Sometimes I just listen. Sometimes when we talk, oh yeah, this is going to happen, and then about six more months I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna make this move, and then this is gonna open up for me to be able to do this. All these breaks, but we don't want no rest. We don't want rest. We looking for the big come up. Ain't sudden rest. We just want to come up. And guess what? We want God to help us. Amen. Come on, read now. Read, read what the book say. Find rest for your souls. Find rest for your soul. But they said. But wait a minute. What did they say? We will not. We ain't gonna do it. Walk during. I ain't gonna do it. I don't want to do it. Amen. I don't want to do it. We will not. I say we. So nobody be like, oh, he's just putting people down. No, I say we. Amen. We, me, me. All right, watch this. Who am I but a piece of dirt? Mm -hmm. When I die, I go back to where I came from. Dirt. Yes, to sit and tell God, I'm not going to do it. Amen. I'm not. I know you created me. 
I know what you say and what I should do, but listen, and now, it's the hard we have to us. I'm not. I'm not ready. I don't have time for it. Listen, you'll never be ready. Amen. So the Bible says that day that you hear my voice, it's a hard not your heart. Read, read what it said now. Read what it said. But they said we will not walk therein. They said we will not walk therein. And as I tell people all the time, the standard of God's church is always there. And the standard of God's church is never coming down for nobody. God set his standards and how things should be. How we should walk and how we should act and what we should do. God's standards ain't coming down for me. So if it's not coming down for me, what do I have to do? Yeah, I got some coming up. I got to be right. Amen. I got to come up. Isn't that right? Amen. I got to be an overcomer. Isn't that right? Amen. Oh, glory to God. No matter how I got to do it. Got to do it. Oh, God, it's so hard. It just see, no, listen, it, it's no excuse. You still got to do it. Yes, sir. You still got to do it. I can't bring excuses, Lord. It just seems so hard. This life seems so hard. I just can't hardly make it. And yeah, but you still got to do it. That's hard. I'm say he's a hard taskmaster. Come on, come on, finish that so we can go. What time is it anyway? 9.39. Only 9.39? Yes, sir. Jesus. <laughs> go ahead. But they said we will not walk therein. Also... I set watchmen over you. I set watchmen over you. Saying. Saying. Hearken. Hearken. Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. That's what I'm telling you. Every time we come together, I'm telling you, hearken. Hearken. Now the question is, when you walk out them doors, what are you doing? Is it anybody can't say that? Amen. What are you doing? Listen. You're not listening. He said, I'm watching to tell you, listen, this is what you have to do. Hearken, hearken. When you got them doors tonight, what's going to be your decision? 